this is my most expensive haul so far the first item i bought is this lovely gold star confetti lucite purse um this one was 105 and it's made by arnold bags the next item i have is another lucite um i collect lucite purses this one is iridescent confetti not confetti iridescent glitter and this one was 115 dollars which is like i think my most expensive one so far <laughs> then i have this lucite which was super cheap this one was only 27 dollars and it's confetti is it showing probably not then i have one more lucite um this one i believe was 105 also but this is my first ever lucite purse with the compact attached so here's the inside you have your mirror and your powder right there this one was did i say it was 105 um and then i have one more this one's a clutch confetti silver clutch this one was i think this was 23 dollars yes 23 dollars and then i had to buy the matching confetti compact and comb to go with the purse the compact was 21 dollars and the comb i believe was also 20 dollars then everything must be confetti i bought another confetti set this one is by sam fink fifth avenue it is a silver and gold confetti we have perfume compact and there's a comb right under here this one was 55 dollars and it was in the netherlands but it arrived like in a week which i was surprised then I have this super cute Avon book. Um, this one is nine. <laughs> Wilma Nelson, nineteen fifty six. This book was twenty dollars. <laughs> I love this book. So we have that. And then I bought this. Two Cameo Creation picture frames. They're empty. Um, I want to put Lily Munster in one and the Black Dahlia in the other one. These were, I think, $25 for the pair. And then I have this lovely beautiful pink wicker purse it is um made in hong kong and it was a 45 dollars then oh i have this lovely set which was expensive it was 90 dollars um but i bought it really just because of the box in the mirror <laughs> mm. It's so cute. Um, but it's the full set and it's like mint condition. What else do I have? Oh, I got another one of these wall appliques. This one is Victorian floral. Um, and it's says 1944 
what else do I have? Oh. Oh, that was... How much was that? $15? Yes. And then I got these curtains, which were $25. I have the pair. Um, oh, that's upside down. The pair. These I bought online, um, but when I received them, one of them is upside down. And that's the second time I bought vintage curtains online where one is upside down and one is right side up. And they're also by a company, not handmade. <laughs> um, what else did I get? I have this needlepoint rug, Oops. which was about $90, but it's so beautiful. Then I have this um, shelf. <laughs> this was only $4.99 at Goodwill. There was a white cardboard on the back, but it had water damage on it, so I just took it off. And um, I collect uh, nylon robes. So I got this blue one, which is so cute. I believe this was only like $4.99. And I got a white one. This white one was only $1.99. And this one's long. Then I have this pink one. This one is actually... Um, extra extra large and it fits me like perfectly <laughs> and then i have this other one which is vintage sears this was originally white but i dyed it pink and then my last item i have this lovely teacup um, it's vintage style teacup. I collect teacups, um, but it's a cat teacup. And I got the one that looks like my cat. It's so cute. Oh, here's the top part. I love this brand. Um, look how cute it is. Oh my god, it's so cute. And it's double sided. It's so perfect. This was, I think, 40 and I also bought, I guess we can add these to the haul, um, <laughs> they're Victorian rings from the same brand. They were $150 each. Here is the pink one and here is the red one. They also have an emerald green one which I really really want but it's sold out. Um, I hope it restocks because I need to get it. And I think that's it. Yes. Um, I did buy two more pairs of curtains, which were about 90 each, but they haven't arrived yet. <laughs> but I am taking a break from buying vintage stuff because I bought so much stuff. This video is like a thousand dollars. So I'm taking a break. So I won't be posting any more vintage items for a while.